All right, got another one for you. Today we're going to be reacting to just pearly things, talking about how women love to prove that they are better than men. This is a clip from a recent live stream she did. I've heard of her before, but never really watched her content, so um, this popped up on my recommendations not so long ago, so I wanted to check it out. This is fair use, everybody. And uh, shout out to uh, Just Pearly Things. Let's get right into this video. Fair use, fair use. Well, because not everyone has a gun, I guess. Do you, you still feel... Everyone's got a cell phone. But I, I, oh, think, um, I think that's a modern yeah, but, convenience. So mm -hmm. throughout history, like, you know, you go back 2,000 years ago, they didn't really have police like that. Or yeah. They didn't have yeah. phones to call police, and they didn't have um, guns. So mm -hmm. in those times, we wouldn't have expected for the man to take care of his wife, take care of his children, take care of his family. Yeah, plus, so it was something we've been conditioned to do, I think. And it's been passed on throughout all generations, even now when people are saying that they don't want toxic men is it is it outdated in 2022 i don't think it's necessarily outdated because i would want to be able to i would think that i'd want to protect as a man i'd want to protect my family and mm -hmm. you know any man he doesn't uh, yeah most guys who have families yeah they they want to protect their families they don't they don't really lose that aspect they don't want any harm to, to happen to them i know if i had a family that's what i would do i would do everything i could to protect them as you should as a man it's peak for you. <laughs> Your wife's gonna leave you at some point. <laughs> but you know, I, I think it just goes back to how um reality doesn't adhere to social norms. It doesn't necessarily adhere to um social norms. So you might say that as a woman, you know, you're equal to me and you know you're just as capable in, in things as me. But then let's be honest, there's biological differences. I might be more calm within that situation than you you would be because your hormones are different to mine. And so it, it makes more sense for me to, you know, be the protector and be the one trying to mm -hmm. sort things out. What about you? Ask the question again. Why are men expected to be protectors when women are just as capable of firing a gun or calling the police? I I don't know why men are expected. I guess because it's, it's just a thing that is innate in them to be protective, but... Like you said, women are capable of doing that, but a lot of women. I think basically, I think a lot of women would much rather a man do that because guess what? Men are men are biologically stronger. Oh, excuse me, physically stronger, and could could would be much better to handle that type of situation versus a chick. That's just that's just the bottom line. And I think most women now understand that and would much rather have that. But they still want to convince themselves they can they can be men as well. A lot of women don't want to, and they assume the man's going to do it anyways. So they don't. They just don't. If that answers the question. Okay. Go ahead. What do you guys think? Uh, well, at the end of at the end of the day, it's whatever is the best option that keeps everybody safe mm -hmm. so i think that's you know that's what you go with if my lady's in the home you know i'm gonna be like if someone breaks in do this you know what i'm saying if mm -hmm. if she's the one if she's gonna be by herself that's what i would that's how i would listen mm -hmm. someone could break in if you're worried this is what you do this is the plan stick mm -hmm. with that until authorities get here or whatever or until i get here you know what I'm saying? So, oh, well, that's that's how you do it. Like that's leadership right there. You let her know what to do in case you're not there to, you know, handle that. You know, so like, okay, do this, do A, B, and C until I get here. Notify me ASAP. Blah blah blah. It, I don't see anything wrong with it. Yeah, I just think like roles in relationships are important. So I feel like. Even though, like me as a woman, I can protect myself technically. Um, but at the same time, I feel like if I always had to be this woman, oh, I'm protecting myself, it, I would kind of just lose my femininity. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that is something that, it, it, for whatever reason, it's been more assigned to, to men. It's more of a masculine trait. And I feel like that's something that's missing in our society like men are no longer masculine and so i don't think it's helpful for us to take away things that make them more masculine and things that make women more feminine well now i could not have said that better myself like 
because I know as controversial as it is, gender roles are made specifically for men and some specifically for women because it fits male and female nature perfectly of what we're supposed to do to complement each other. But in modern times, we kind of want to get rid of all of that and just say everyone can just, oh yeah, men, women can protect and men can gather. Da, 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 da. And it's, it's, it's really not working. It's really not working, at least not in my view. You know, I see a lot, of, it's, just, it's got a lot of people thinking and acting, you know, backwards in comparison to, you know, what you may have seen, you know, like your parents grew up doing, like you may have seen your father, you know, do outside yard work all the time. And then your mom might handle the everything on the inside, inside of the house. You know what I'm saying? That's how I was, you know, that's how I was raised. You know, I handled like you know, yard work, you know, cars and all that other stuff. And then your woman's supposed to handle everything inside the house. I don't think any, I don't think anything's wrong with that at all. But in today's time, that's a very controversial way of thinking. Okay. I guess it's the difference between capable of and should. Um, I think the whole feminist argument as a whole um, is about proving that women are capable of doing something mm -hmm. that men can do. The question is, is should they? Should mm. women be the lead in the household? Mm. Should women be the breadwinners? Should women be the protectors? Are they capable of it? Yeah, that woman's absolutely capable of pulling that trigger. Mm -hmm. But in that household with a man there should she mm -hmm. if she's by herself absolutely i want i'm gonna take my daughter to california and i'm gonna take her to a gun range someday i'm gonna teach her how to shoot a gun when she's here i'm gonna teach her to respect the laws mm -hmm. but she's gonna be able to however do i want her to be in a position to where she has to make that choice no i want her to have a happy family and a man that's going to protect her so she never has to make that decision so I guess it, I mean, I don't know if it properly answers your question, but I, I think it's, it's really a question of, you know, feminism has <clears throat> made women think that because they are capable of doing something that they should. Do you think most women want to? No, I think they want yeah. to be protected and they've been told that they should be the protector, which is against their nature. Yeah, that's what I'm this guy hit it. <laughs> Shout out to this guy. This guy, that guy get that guy understands it. Now, I've been saying this for a long time. It's like that's because a chick can pull a gun and possibly throw hands and all this other stuff. It doesn't mean they necessarily want to do that. Like he said, and like he just said, it's it's like everything is going backwards. Of course, no, no matter how much feminism is thrown in, in women's faces nowadays, it's like they still want that. They still want a man to protect them in danger because they may not always because it, the, the dangerous situation will vary. It, it doesn't even it, it, it can it can be A, B, C or D. She, not, she may not be able to handle all those by herself. And yeah, like most guys who have daughters, they of course they will want them to because I'm sure I'm sure most of them teach them how to shoot a gun or things like that. Then at the end of the day, they still want a man to protect them at the end of the day because then they have that they have a better sense of security because that's what they really want. Mm. Yeah, I agree. I think they just keep society keeps telling them like you should not, you should be capable, you should be, and you should be capable, you should be able to protect yourself. But it's gonna turn you off if something happens someone brings it to your house and your man doesn't protect you you keep hearing like oh i want a feminine man and uh, someone who's in oh, touch yeah. with the feminine side and all that yeah. but i don't think so when that happens you would want what it's called a toxic man these days Sub toxic masculine to whatever you want to call it mm -hmm. um yeah i think it would turn you off if if that was the case but you should be able to protect yourself can i just say that if any woman that talks about toxic masculinity or men are trash and men are this men are that if you think i'll protect you when there's something's going on <laughs> you're yeah. dead and all. <laughs> <laughs> okay I, i'm not gonna go through the rest of this so because they pretty much hit the nail on the head here and i, I rock with a lot of what they're saying in this uh in this clip because you know they they, they seem to understand that the quote-unquote toxic masculinity is needed 
to for dangerous situations because that keeps other that keeps others out of harm. You know, women and children that keeps them out of harm. And then you got a lot of these chicks who like to say, "Oh, men are trash." Blah 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 blah. It's like, hey, those those are the type of women you leave alone. If you're a man that you know, type, you know, is it's protecting, you know, knows it's important to protect women and things like that. You hear these women say, "Want to disrespect the male species by saying that we're all trash, we're no good, we're useless." Hey, those are the ones you leave alone. You know, in a time of danger. Sure, they'll be able to handle by themselves. How about? It's like, okay, you think we're trash. You think we're we're not needed. We think we're uh, useless. We think we're this, that, and the other. It's like, okay, okay, protect yourself. Go do your thing. I, I ain't mad at you. Have that. that. At least that's how I would take it. But what do you guys think about this? Do you agree with what's, what was said in this clip here? Do you agree with my 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 stance? You know, and uh, let's talk about it down in the comment section below. I appreciate y'all for watching my videos and sharing my videos and hitting that like button, subscribing. I really do appreciate that. Make sure you uh, make sure you share, share this with everyone you know. Let's get this discussion really going here. I'll holler at y'all in the next video. Peace.